All right, financial math classes. Today we are talking about commission and what it means to be paid on commission. So uh, commission is when you are uh, paid a rate based on uh, how many items you sell. So um, how it works if you're in retail, like a car salesman, um, when you sell a car, you get paid a percentage of that total sale and that's called commission. It's similar to, to piecework, um, but it's, it's based on a percentage of sales. Um, real easy to figure out straight commission and straight commission is just if that is your only pay. If your sole income comes just from commission, that's called straight commission. You take the total amount of sales you made times the commission rate. All right, and then something you want to think about, what are the risks of being paid on commission? Uh, one of the risks of being paid on commission is if you don't sell anything, if you don't make any sales, you do not get paid, right? Um, for me personally, uh, a job, a commission-based job would be a nightmare because uh, just like it says here, if you're outgoing and friendly, you may want to be a salesperson. I'm not outgoing. Not all that friendly to people I don't know, so I would not be a good salesman. So I'm glad I have a salary position where I get paid um, no matter uh, what, if I'm friendly or not. Um, so uh, before we talk about uh, how to calculate percentages or calculate commission, we need to talk about um, how to convert percents to decimals. Just a quick review. So we're going to be given information in percent form. We want to convert those to decimals. All you need to do is take your percent and divide it by 100. You can use a calculator to help you out with that. So 25 divided by 100. So 25% as a decimal is 0 0.2, 0 0.25. All right. If you have five, divide by 100. That becomes 0 0.05. Uh, if there's a decimal in your percent, that doesn't mean you don't have to convert it. You still have to convert it to a decimal. If it has a percent sign, that means it's in percent form and you have to divide it by 100. So 2.5 divided by 100 is 0 0.025. All right. And then the last one is just like I said um, on the other one. If you are dividing, if it's if it has a percent sign in it, it is a in percent form. You need to change it to a decimal. So this is in percent form. To change it to a decimal form, I need to divide by 100. I get 0 0.0045. You can also think of it as moving the decimal over two spots. That's the same thing as um, multiplying or, or dividing by 100. So if that works for you, you can do that. All right, so let's look at uh, an example of how to calculate commission. So Bob sells commercial real estate at a 7.5% commission rate. Uh, last week his sales were uh, 290,000. So first thing I'm going to do is take my decimal, seven and one half, I'm gonna change it to 7.5%. Divide it by 100, so my commission rate is 0 0.075. Now I can fill up, do the rest of it. So this is a commission rate, that's gonna go in there, and then I'm just gonna multiply that by total sales. So that's gonna go here. So total sales, 29,000. Uh, 290,000, excuse me, times 0 0.075. Multiply that out. So 290,000 times 0 0.075 comes out to uh, 21,750. There we go. Why don't you try this one on your own? Uh, pause the video and then when you're done, uh, check your answer. I'm going to go through it right now. So first thing I'm going to do is take that 3%, divide it by 100 to get a decimal form to work with. So that's 0 
Then I take my total sales, 9,500, and multiply it by the commission rate. So 9,500 comes out to $285. All right, so uh, there are jobs that uh, work with commission and a salary. So you might be paid a minimum salary. So instead of working only on commission, uh, you could be guaranteed a minimum weekly or monthly salary. Uh, and then in some cases, the commission you earn during the week or month is compared with your salary and your gross pay is higher than the two amount. Blah, blah. Uh, so if you're, if you're get paid a minimum salary, uh, any commission you work is on top of that. Uh, that's what we're going to talk about here. Uh, so we have Marsha, who sells ergonomic chairs at the office center. She's guaranteed a minimum salary of $1,850, uh, $1, plus a commission of 6.25%. And she has a total sales of 3890 So we're going to work out an equation here. Um, and we're gonna find what her total sales for the month was. So we are looking for what are her total sales. Um, so this is a little different. So the total she's paid with sales and commission is gonna go here. The minimum salary is in yellow, so that's gonna go here. And then we're going to do the commission rate times S for her sales. We're gonna use S for sales. In there. So first thing I'm going to do before I even get there, I'm going to convert my percent to a decimal by dividing by 100. So this comes out to 0 0.0625. So the total, 3,890, is equal to her minimum salary of 1,850 plus her commission rate times the total sales. And then we solve for S to, uh, to figure out how much she made, how many sales she made. So I'm going to put a little line of separation here just to help keep track of that equal sign. First thing I'm going to do is eliminate the 1850 by subtracting it from both sides. So 3,890 minus 1850 is 2040. That eliminates there, so we get 0 0.0625 times S. Since that is multiplication, to eliminate the 0 0.0625, I need to divide by both sides. So this eliminates, and I divide 0 0.0625. So her total sales for the year or for the pay period was 32,640. All right, one more problem. You guys do this one on your own. Uh, you can go ahead, pause the video, and then when you're done, uh, check your answer. I'll go ahead and work through this right now. Um, so, minimum salary. Starting off was $1,500. Uh, her commission rate, Isaiah's commission rate, 5.75. And then gross pay was $2075. So, I'm going to set that same. Uh, same equation, so it's going to be 2075 uh, plus, or not, excuse me, is equal to minimum salary plus the commission rate. Oh, I need to do that up here 5.75 divided by 100. You get 0 0.0575. times 
Uh, we don't know. Getting ahead of myself. We are looking for that where you're going to use S for sales. So uh, all I need to do is solve this equation. First thing I'm going to do is subtract 1500 from both sides. So minus 1500. So 2075 minus 1500 is 575. 1500s cancel out. And I'm left with 0 0.0575 times S. I'm going to divide both sides by 0 0.0575. These cancel out. So all I have left on that side is S. And 575 divided by 0 0.0575 is 10,000. So Isaiah sold. $10,000 worth of tennis equipment. All right, your assignment today is a worksheet. Uh, it's in Google Classroom. Go ahead and complete that worksheet and get it turned in. And we will see you guys next time.